Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos, and welcome to another episode of He Rants. I am your host, Felix Long Trousers. Now, we got some videos that came in for some of our buddies. You know what I'm saying? We appreciate it, man. Appreciate y'all. G, you know who you are. JoJo, you already know who you are, son. Let's waste my time. Let's get right into this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, for those of you guys who don't know, man, I have a son and a daughter, two kids, man. Plan on having more kids, to be honest with you. But that's one of my biggest fears about having a daughter, man. And my daughter is the oldest. So, I mean, and it's, like I said, there's only two of them. So, my daughter being the oldest, who's she really, who's really going to tell her anything, right? Think about that, right? Because imagine if you have an older, you have an older sibling, older brother or something like that. She can really, like... You know, the dude could really, like, can try to control her a little bit, man. But for real, who really going to tell her anything, right? Like, oh, Felix, you the dad, bro. You the one. Bro, let's, I'm going to be real with you, son. I'm, I'm going to train her the way I need to train her. But at the end of the day, she's going to spend more time out there in the world than with me. To keep it a band. I mean, yeah, the younger ages now. But, yeah, when she gets to the school, she's going to spend more time in school than with me. Think about it. She's going to be around her peers longer than with me. She goes out, boom, morning time. She don't get back home until what? Three o'clock, right? Let's say kid does homework, all that stuff, then goes out to play with the friends. Then you come back, you eat, you go to sleep. Next morning, do it all over again. You barely spending time with me. You're going to be with your, your, your colleagues. You know what I'm saying? Your peers. So this is one of the scary things because like, who's to say that my, my, my daughter won't do some wild stuff like that at the wedding? See, he wanted to steal it. He had to hold himself back. You know, he wanted to steal it. He wanted to pop, pop, hit it with the Mika Makamuku special. <coughs> I, I would have followed up if I was there too. I'm like, yeah, let's stop. Boom. Let that be a message to my daughter. If she's in the, if she's in the vicinity, like, listen, don't you ever try that BS with bend down and drop a low like that? What's wrong with you? I want I want to at least be able to lie to myself and be like, yo, my 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 female. Like the moment if I was him, I would I would have looked at my daughter right there and be like, my daughter sucks dick. I want to lie to myself and believe that my daughter does not do any wild stuff like that. Like she, she just like even if she comes pregnant, I'm just gonna be like, man, she, I don't know how she got pregnant. She got pregnant off some Virgin Mary. I'm just assuming after I seen that, after I seen that bend down twerk, my daughter sucks dick. Who are you, bro? Who are you, bro? Yeah, you. Who are you, bro? Yeah, I'm Gil. You Gil? I'm looking for Keisha. Yeah, you was the one in her DM. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. We played you, bro. Yeah. Yeah. We got your cash out. Appreciate you, boss. You a freak in them DMs, too. Yeah. We'll expose you, boss. No, no, no. You a freak, boss. What's in the box? 12 piece spicy. Put it down or we'll expose you. Put it down. You came with flowers, too, boss? Oh my god. <laughs> you came with flowers, boss? Put it down, boss. Walk off, boss. Fucking freak, boss. Bruh. Bruh. <laughs> Can you imagine? Hey, bruh. There's no. I know this is a skip, but there's no doubt in my mind. If he had pulled up like that with the fl uh, Spicy? Spicy wings with the flowers? I'm be bro, the moment he was at the register, he was just like, oh, man, she not even, she not ready. I'm different from those other niggas. She ain't ready for me. <laughs> she ain't ready for me. You think, and then he talking about spicy the DMs. I'm like, bro, he probably was saying all types of reckless stuff. So he's like, yo, he brought the, he brought the, <laughs> he brought the, the flowers to show like, hey, I'm, I'm a nice guy. But he brought the wings for insurance. You know what I'm saying? You get to a woman by her, you get through her belly, son. You know what I'm saying? She going to be, psh, she eats that. She's going to eat something else, too. You feel me, son? So I'm thinking, he thinking in his mind, like, yeah, it's done. Man, can you imagine? This happens often, by the way, man. Like I told you guys before, I live a chunk of my adult life in Baltimore, son. So this is a common thing in Baltimore. It's a common thing anywhere, bro. You think everything's sweet. You excited. 
you know, you, you go home, you take that nice shower, you scrub it, you scrub your balls extra hard, you get all the grime out so it smells good because you hoping that you're going to get your wood slurped up. You feel me? You thinking like, man, I'm about to, I'm about to crush this joint. You go, you go to the gas station, get a fresh pack of condoms. You're like, bro, I'm in here, bro. Get the wings, everything. That joint probably hot and red. I'm telling everybody, like, hey, listen, man, hold on, don't nobody hit me up. I'm about to get some cheeks. Just to come out and find out you got finesse. It could have been worse. He could have got robbed. I mean, he basically got robbed because they got the cash app and everything. But it could have been worse. He could have got the Mika Maka Muka special as well, bro. If you talking about son, but hey, let this be a learning lesson. Hilarious ass skit though. Instagram or a long term boyfriend? Pick one. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Instagram. Okay. What? <laughs> Instagram. Instagram. She okay. Didn't even Instagram. Think about Instagram. Okay. Oh, did you guys getting red pill right now? Okay. What about you? Mm -hmm. Probably Instagram. Oh, that's Detroit. <laughs> I probably already knew, but Instagram. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> I would say Instagram. I haven't met yeah. or found a man yet that can give me what Instagram has given me. No, I think this is why this show is necessary. Do you see how all these girls are in a relationship with Instagram instead of a real man? They're addicted to attention instead of love. You know Stay focused on you, King. Bro, I don't understand. Listen, here's the thing about fresh and fit. I don't know where to get these bimbos, right? But this is the stuff that I'm talking about. I see stuff like that, and I'm really scared because I'm like, bro. Is there anything else out there? Like I told y'all earlier in this video, I have a son and a daughter. So I have a son, right? So that means he's going to run into floozies like this? You know, I mean, granted, that's Miami. Miami's a whole different area. Miami, Atlanta, Los Angeles. Those are different breeds. Like, like that's a whole... Those places are not even reality. Like, you go, you have to go through a special force field to go. And they had to live a different world, bro. So I don't know, but... And then my daughter. Is my daughter going to grow up like that? And you see what he said? They crave attention right which is another reason why when joints be getting mad like why do you why do you care if a dude has a lot of, uh, uh if a if a girl has a high body count for that type of reason because if a joint has a high body count right to me it tells me you don't have a lot of self-control right that tells me i i might be jumping the gun here but that shows me that maybe if a dude shows you enough attention comes and says the right stuff to you you're going to give up the cheeks, which means if I'm in a relationship with you, if a dude came up to you, said the right stuff, gave you enough attention, gassed you up to the fine line of not being a simp. You know, there's, a, there's levels to this. You might give him the cheeks. You might cheat on me, son. What? How do I know? You know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot of stuff. Those are one of the reasons why I don't like, you know, if you have a high body count, it's just like, nah, bro. <laughs> like, it's just like, nah. But when you see this type of thing, right, it's like, oh, I haven't seen all these joints. These joints must have come out of bad relationships. I haven't seen any dude. That has gotten me to that point, basically, is what one of the girls said. Right, I was surprised when the uh, when the one black girl who's a little bit chubbier, but she even chose Instagram as well. I was like, wow, I thought I would thought you want a loving relationship. <laughs> I, would thought, I would thought you would want a loving relationship. I don't know. She wasn't ugly uh, at all, but I just I just thought that she would want a loving relationship. So you know what I'm saying? You choosing Instagram? Likes likes ain't gonna get you fed. Likes ain't likes ain't gonna give you uh, uh what you call it, companionship. You can get, you can keep your companionship with the cats. I mean, but hey, if this is what we're looking at, like I said though, it's Miami. It's a different breed. Miami, they probably do want, <laughs> they want IG more. I mean, you know, keep it a bandwidth. Yo, you know what I noticed reading the Bible, like actually reading it for myself, is that it was intently written for men, and there was a couple scriptures that really stood out, but. When those scriptures open my eyes, I really start looking at the Bible from that lens. So the first is Exodus 20, verse 17. Basically, this is when God is announcing the Ten Commandments. The very last commandment, God says, you shall now covet your neighbor's house. Don't covet your neighbor's wife. Don't cover his male or female servant, his ox, his donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. Why did he specifically only say don't cover your neighbor's wife? Why didn't he say don't cover your neighbor's wife or don't cover your neighbor's husband? Because he wasn't talking to women. He's putting that responsibility on men. But this next scripture really got me. Because it kind of took me against everything I had already understood about sin. I'm talking about Romans 5 verse 12. It says, therefore, just as through one man sin entered the world 
Like, what? Like, just ask through one man. Like, But Eve ate the apple first, right? Technically, Eve did eat the apple first. But according to this scripture, it wasn't considered sin until Adam ate the apple. But this helped me understand some more things. And it's beginning to make sense of others. It makes sense why... Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before he goes into that, man, uh, I know a lot of you guys aren't Christian and stuff, so... Uh, I understand if like all this is just like, eh. but and it's not to push the religion onto it, but stuff that he's saying right now is actually kind of facts, right? You see how he just said like it wasn't sin for her, but it was sin for him as the man, right? This goes back, and I and I think I could be tripping, but you know how there's this thing that they say women aren't just don't want to be held accountable for anything. What if is that if that's from Eve? She was never really held accountable for the apple. Adam was. In fact, they didn't get kicked out until Adam ate the apple. She ate the apple first. Then gave it to Adam. Adam ate it. Then they'd be like, oh, no, nah, y'all got to go. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like... It's almost like they don't see... Like, like maybe the Bible doesn't see... Maybe they seem as like... Uh, I, uh, like like children or something like that like you know when a child does something you just like oh, it's a child they don't know any better do you think that's what it is that we that they see women as like children or something I, my, actually well I've actually had my cousin actually told me something like that too that he sees them a lot as children sometimes and you know some people might hear that and be like oh my goodness this, that's terrible but um, I think that's if you take it like that I don't think it's like a like a demeaning type of way it's just it's just the reality and, I, and the way he broke it down it actually made sense to me because when he said it to me i was like whoa like children what but then when i think about like the the, uh, the accountability even certain things that you do and you you know having to take care of her and everything too um it's almost like a child in a sense right uh this woman right now probably leaving angry messages on my joint talking about like what do you what do you mean by that it's not it's not to disrespect women son. it's just it's just reality uh, our reality let's say that right even though it is reality, if you're talking about something. I don't care if you get mad, if you're talking about Let's keep going. By now, we're living in a society where the women dominate the narrative. The women dictate what's socially acceptable. Because this is not how God wanted it. This is out of order. And if you somehow think this gives you a pass to be disrespectful to women, like, just keep scrolling, yo. This is all about standing as men and being responsible for our roles and not to allow women to dictate what our role is. God already gave us a role. You need to stop compromising your role in order to appease your woman and then expect her to take accountability for decisions that you should have made for both of you. That's how leaders lead. Adam fell short because he listened to his woman. That's the very first lesson. And we still keep making the same mistakes and wonder why the world is the way it is. Fellas, we've allowed it. Pick up your Bible. Read. You'll be surprised what you find in there. Because 98% of what I was taught as a Christian is not in the Bible. Something simple as Sunday service goes completely against scripture. That list is a mile long. So I suggest you get to reading because we don't have much time left. Now that's some that's some that's some deep stuff that he's saying right there, and just like he said, um, at the end of the day, us as men, we're supposed to be the leaders, right? We're supposed to take charge, control everything, make sure that the household is in order, right? And I and I feel like a lot of dudes are falling short when it comes to that. That's that's crazy. Like 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 he said, it seems like at least the Western culture. I'm not gonna say anywhere else, <laughs> Western culture and Australia. Um, it seems like that women are leading right and and a lot of that has to do with money right a lot of businesses see that uh the biggest consumers are usually women not usually they are women <laughs> what about talking about so they're usually out here spending the money dudes are a little bit more frugal when it comes to spending uh, most of the time dudes are spending money in order to appease women in a sense like like the stuff that they buy like certain certain things like high fashion all that stuff you know of course it's exceptions most of the time they do it because they're trying to look good for women i mean cat williams even said it himself like you say yo i got silk pillows i can't do the voice i got like he like got silk pillows not because of him it's because he knows that girls that come over to the crib like silk for their hair and stuff like that so he does that in order to appease them right i'm not saying that cat williams is simple or anything i'm just saying in general but if you look at it like now that we're letting women rule right um i don't i think he was saying the bible we should not let them lead because if you lead if you let them lead 
they're not, this goes back to the, like the children thing. They're not meant to lead. What was a lot of times you hear a lot of women that work with other women as managers. They say, yo, I don't like, <laughs> I don't like the, I don't like, uh, being managed by women. Cause it just, it doesn't go smooth. So it's a problem. Are there exceptions? Absolutely. But I've heard this from women and men. Like, I don't like women managers. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's 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 a legit thing. So now you see nowadays what what what's what is the main movements going on that's that's I believe are not good. Transgender movement? Who who's leading that? Women. <laughs> uh what do you call it? Uh LGBTQ, the whole pushing the joint with children and everything. Uh going drag shows, all that stuff. Uh students, uh 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 the schools trying to push Oh yeah, gender norms and oh uh, pronouns, all that. Who's at the forefront of all those things? Who's leading those things? Women. Stuff that's just like, bro, why? Why is this the stuff we're trying to push up? It's like the decision making is crazy. It's ridiculous. You know what I'm saying? So basically, this guy's basically saying no simping. Simping is a sin. You heard that? When we say no simping, people are like, oh, simping is a sin. But I also, like you said, it doesn't mean you dis disrespect the ladies, man. And I don't think, I don't think we're thinking about disrespecting. I think we're just, uh, they're just trying to change the gender roles and norm, man. But he actually has a part two to the video, man. I'm excited. You know, initially I laughed the first time I saw this comment, but it's fact. When God was explaining to Adam why he was cursing him, the very first thing he said was, because you have heeded the voice of your wife. He didn't say because you didn't protect your wife. He didn't say because you left your wife in the garden. He specifically identified his failure in leadership by heeding the voice of his wife. I don't care what your worldly ideology is. I don't care what your modern take is on scripture. What I just stated is in scripture without me adding or taking away from it. The real definition of simping is putting your wife before your purpose. I don't care about the people that try to rearrange and switch the definitions. That's what it means. Adam had a purpose and he was giving specific instructions by God. And he specifically went against those instructions to appease his woman. And then he blamed God for sending the woman. God didn't grant Eve the skill of discernment because that wasn't his purpose for creating her. Adam had the skill and still failed to use it. This is why our women picked the same wrong men again and again and again. They weren't granted that skill. Fathers should be picking husbands. Uncles, brothers should be picking husbands. And now that I think about it, we should really go back to arranged marriages. You can say whatever you want about the past, but what we're doing today clearly isn't working. Oh my God, this is facts. Bro, this guy just dropped so much facts and like it, it, it makes so much sense, man. Well spoken. Well spoken, it makes so much sense. Like even when it comes to, like you said, like I said, when it comes with decision making too, like their decisions is bad. I want a good picking bad guys. Dudes treat, I can't even ask, oh, what do you want to eat? I don't, I don't know what I want to eat. I don't, wanna, I don't know, what, do you, what, what should I eat? It's like really in, like decision making is, bro. Uh, I'll say this too. When it comes, like when he said arranged marriages, I don't know if a lot of people, I think a lot of people know this by now, right? Arranged marriages actually have a very high success rate. And who's usually the ones picking, right? It's usually the fathers. Fathers are usually picking, you know, my son will be with your daughter, your daughter. They feel like this will be a good bond to, to join families together, right? It's usually for, I mean, if we're going based off the old days, usually to, to join the family and, you know, help financially with each other and stuff like that, right? Um, it benefits both parties. But usually arranged marriages usually last well. Sometimes they say the love comes after. That's really wild when you really think about it, right? And now you look at these days, now we have the freedom to choose exactly who we want to marry. And divorces, at least in the Western culture, I have to keep saying that Western culture, because I don't feel like it's that 
and Australia. Australian, even though they're in the East, the Western culture too. Because they, they, all that UK, America, all that is all the same thing in Australia. So. But I feel like now divorce rates are, is crazy. And as time is going on, divorces keep getting higher and higher, right? It's crazy when you really think about it, right? And it, 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 it's wild. It's almost like the divorce rates started going up right after feminism, too. Coincidence? <laughs> like, is that, is that a coincidence, right? But a lot of joints are going to say, like, oh, that's because, you know, men were treating us bad and all that stuff. And do I think back in the day men were treating women bad? Absolutely. Do I think it was, do I think it's as much, at least, in a Western culture, though, I think it's as bad as they're trying to make it seem. Um, to a certain extent, not really. Some are there pockets of certain places like I know I've heard some stories about North Carolina as well. So you know, like, are there pockets of places that it was bad? Yeah, but I don't think it's as bad as it was because I've, I've I've seen um, interviews with older ladies that grew up in that era, and it was like, bro, they gas it now, <laughs> like like the way it is. The women that are still married to their older like they, they say they, it's it, it's not as bad as they try to make it seem it was some parts were bad but sometimes it was just like they make it like the way they make it seem they make it seem like the husband just come back and he's just like where's my food my food not here <laughs> just start slapping it up and stuff like <laughs> i don't think it was like that bro i don't think and i heard that it was frowned upon to still beat your wife back in the day so. certain parts i mean majority of places it was frowned upon the it was certain pockets of places that it was okay North Carolina was one of those places. I'm just saying. I don't know why North Carolina, somebody told me that story, but I was like, damn, North Carolina is wild. Like, some of I was like, damn, what y'all doing out there in the NC? South Carolina doing the same thing. I wouldn't be surprised. All Carolinas, right? You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, um, this guy actually spoke a lot of facts. It makes me really think, right? But I always did say, uh, funny that he said that about the, the simping thing. Uh, I always did believe that Adam was a simp, right? And see how he's getting mad. He's getting mad at God. Like, what? Why would you give this one? Like, bro. As messed up as it sounds, I feel like God gave him that woman as company. Like, yo, I want you to have something that you can have fun with. As messed up as that sounds, right? I want you to have fun with it, right? This is almost like this is almost like uh, one of your gifts. This basically is your gift, right? So I'm not holding your gift to come. It's almost like man, this sounds bad. It's almost like having a pet, right? Like you have a dog or something, right? And then uh, the dog bites somebody. Are they? Are they gonna get mad at you, or they're gonna, they're gonna get mad at the owner of the dog? Like, why would you, why would you allow your dog to do this, right? As messed up as it sounds, because anyway, it's gonna be good. Are you comparing me to dogs? Yes, I'm comparing you to dogs. What you gonna do about it, son? F? I gotta make an analogy. I'm gonna compare you to something. What you talking about, son? I wish you would. It's not disrespecting women. This is just, this is just what it is. You know what I'm saying, like you guys know from the get go, I already told you guys I'm massaging this at the end of the day. You feel me? I'm trying to tone it down a little bit, but you're still massaging this at heart. All right? But yeah, man, that's all I got to say on this, man. If you stayed this long, I appreciate you. I love you. Make sure you hit the subscribe button as well as with the post notification. That way, you'll be one of the first to hear the voice. Same time, leave a like because I'm so damn insecure in those likes. Definitely let me know I'm doing a stand up job. Same time, you got to buy the merch. Mofo, men offering females orgasms because they're so humble. Link in the description box below. That's all I got to say. Peace and blessings, you ugly mofos. And I'm out.